All right, welcome back to the Roll Steady the Pump series. Today we're talking about the heat exchanger. Um, what I wanted to do is start by talking about what the heat exchanger is not, because I think this is an area that a lot of firemen, especially younger firemen, they misunderstand what it is and what it does. So let's start by talking about what it's not. The heat exchanger is not similar to your tank fill. We're doing pump school at the station. A lot of times we'll ask, you know, younger members, okay, what's this heat exchanger? What is that? What does it do? And they kind of look at you a little confused and they say, well, it's, it's kind of like cracking that tank fill, similar to what we talked about last week, right? You pull up on scene, if you add that tank fill, cracking it to your workflow, you know, you pull your tank to pump and then you crack your tank fill. You're doing that in order to cool that pump, okay? The pump left by itself, if it doesn't have a discharge and it stays a contained system, that water is going to continue to heat, continue to heat. It's going to reach a boiling point, which is going to cause it to turn into a gas. And that doesn't mix well with the, the metal parts, the brass parts that are inside that pump, okay? That's going to lead to things like pump cavitation. So we crack that tank fill in order to cool our pump. What a lot of members will tell us is they'll say, well, the heat exchanger is just like cracking the tank fill. It does the same thing, but this is a little bit more efficient maybe. Okay, that's not correct, okay? All right, the tank fill just left by itself is used to replenish our water supply into that tank, but we can crack it, like we said, in order to you know, cool the pump, which prevents the pump from overheating, okay? The heat exchanger is different, okay? The heat exchanger doesn't cool the pump. The heat exchanger cools that diesel engine. So I think where the confusion maybe is set in is because it's, it's preventing kind of the similar or a similar thing. It's preventing this overheating. It's just preventing overheating of something different. We'll utilize that tank fill, cracking it in order to circulate water to prevent the pump from overheating. The heat exchanger, okay, we're using that to prevent the diesel engine, that's that, the, the apparatus itself from overheating. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna share with you guys a couple ways that we, that we achieve this. We prevent overheating of that diesel engine. Today, if you were to walk outside, it's the middle of summer here in Texas, okay? It's 90, 100 degrees outside. If you're gonna be pumping at an extended period of time, okay, you need to be thinking as a driver operator how to, how to keep that diesel engine cool, okay? The first and easiest way to do that is to turn that lever, quarter turn, and engage that heat exchanger. Okay, the second way is gonna be to wet down underneath the apparatus. All right, so whereas our heat exchanger, we're using conduction in order to cool that diesel engine down, by wetting down under the apparatus, you're using convection in order to do something similar to it. You know, I've seen two, two ways that people have done this over the years. A lot of times drivers, they'll pull that red line around if it's not being utilized and they'll wet down underneath the apparatus. The second way that you can do that, you know, like we talked about last week, if, you, if you're using that tank fill in order to circulate water and keep that pump cool, Okay, as lines aren't flowing, one of the things that's gonna happen once you get your permanent supply is you're gonna have water that starts to spill down and go underneath the apparatus. That, that can be a desirable effect or outcome of letting that tank overflow. Um, obviously, you're not gonna be doing that or wanting to do that in the middle of the winter where you have possibility of freezing temperatures, but you know, like today here in Texas where it's, it's close to 100 degrees outside, that might be something you consider doing. Um, the third way to do this is, I'm gonna leave this as a question mark because here's the deal. Like, it's a huge liability for me to tell you to do something that could potentially damage the equipment that we've been entrusted with by the citizens here in Dallas or whatever city you work in. But there's another way over the years at the front of the apparatus that if you find an old head, you can talk to them about the appropriate way maybe to create a cooler environment at the front of that apparatus. So I'll leave it at that. It gives you an opportunity at the kitchen table to talk to some of the members um, that maybe have some time on, have, have worked some fires in the middle of dead summer and have used that, that method. So again, a huge thanks to everybody that's supporting this channel, hitting that like button, sharing these posts. Um, again, I hope it helps you guys out and we'll see you guys next week.